For today's recipe video, it's gonna be really simple. We're just gonna need a few ingredients for our sweet potato pie pudding. And the first ingredient is two perfectly cooked, medium-sized sweet potatoes. Now I've done this in my Instant Pot. I'll have the recipe link below so you can see exactly how it's done. But basically 30 minutes at a pressure cook setting in the Instant Pot perfection. We also have a fourth of a cup of a plant-based milk. I'm using my pecan milk. We have one tablespoon of maple syrup. If you do not like using maple syrup, you can always use another liquid sweetener. We're then going to be using one teaspoon of vanilla extract and then a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now, I am going to be doing this in my food processor. It's a Ninja food processor. Any food processor will work. But if you do not have a food processor, you can also do this in a stand mixer, or I've done it before, it's really simple. You can also just do this with a nice mixing spoon in a large mixing bowl. And uh, that's really it. So I'm gonna bring you in here and we're gonna get started on today's recipe video. To get started on today's recipe, we are going to add in our ingredients, starting with our cooked sweet potato. We have our plant-based milk. our maple syrup, vanilla extract, and our cinnamon. Now I am going to process this on a low to medium speed for roughly around 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, our sweet potato pie pudding is done. I'm gonna open this up so you can see a perfect consistency. I'm gonna get the kitchen cleaned up a little bit and I'll see you guys in just a second. Welcome back to the kitchen. I got it all tidied up. I am here with my sweet potato pie pudding filling. Just a sweet potato pie without the crust and it. it hasn't been baked. It's absolutely delicious. Uh, I really hope you guys go ahead and give this one a try. Speaking of giving it a try, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Absolutely delicious. Now, when we cook the sweet potatoes like I do in the Instant Pot, they break down, they get this sweetness that if you haven't cooked a sweet potato in the Instant Pot or a pressure cooker like this, uh, you have not tasted a sweet potato this delicious. I challenge you to give it a try if you haven't already. And I gotta say, this recipe, kids love it. Uh, it goes great at parties. You can put it in the fridge. You can put it in the freezer and have it freeze up a little bit, get nice and cold. But a really simple recipe, one that I use a lot, a great go-to snack and or just a good meal to go on the go. You know, you just blitz it up or you mix it in a bowl and it's ready to go. I really hope you guys give this one a try. If you liked this recipe video, please go ahead and give this video a like and a thumbs up on YouTube and Facebook. It really, really helps so that other people can see the videos. And make sure if this one, you like this one, go ahead and hit the share button so that others can see just how easy it is to eat whole food plant-based and healthfully. And as always, this recipe, my past and future recipes can be found at plantbasedgabriel.com. I am Plant Based Gabriel here with my sweet potato pie pudding. Thanking you so very much for watching and I will hopefully see you very, very soon.